We believe the narrative of being a woman who is her own boss is a special type of journey that deserve more visibility in today's society. The problems and struggles we face can and should be faced together. We found each other through our shared journeys that resilience is the only answer to fulfilling dreams and callings on our lives. Fly Girls is an intimate look into the creative hustle. Through the stories of women who are dope, determined, optimistic, passionate, energized, we decided to share the power of creativity to empower the world and ourselves. It's time for you to join us. Find a community dedicated to helping you embrace your dopeness. You deserve the right to dream big, design your success, and trust your passion. Welcome. You are the pilot of your own destiny. You are a fly girl. And you believe in what you dream. Welcome back to Fly Girls. I am your pilot, Estat Ladybug. And with this show, we take a, a look into the creative hustle of women who are beautiful, educated, spirited, successful, and independent. Today, I will be co-piloting with the beautiful Alexis Rose. Thank you so much for coming today. I'm having me. really appreciate it. I'm really excited for you to be here. You and you look so awesome. Thank you. Very much. <laughs> so just to start off, um, just tell our viewers who you are, where you're from, where you're going. My name is Alexis Rose, and I'm a singer-songwriter born in Oakland, California. Uh, I'm very proud to be from the Bay, mm -hmm. and um, I enjoy what I do. Um, obviously, I, well, not obviously, I write my own music. I love to sing. I love to dance. I love to create in general, um, and I love to work with other people who are creative, such as yourself. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so what kind of events have occurred in your life that made you land in this spot where you are, where you utilizing creativity to empower the world? Let's see, major events. Uh, first event that really kind of rocked my world was uh, when I was seven. And my... Uh, there was a performance at a church event. It was this big singles conference. Mm -hmm. And one of the singers uh, got sick. And I had been there with them practicing. You know, I'm just in the background learning as a kid. And they needed somebody to sing. And I was like, I know the song. And so they were like, you could, sure, you want to try and do the song. And I performed it. And there were like 200 people there. Yeah. I just remember wearing my, <laughs> I actually wore a, a silver jacket. <laughs> um, but that was like the performance that it literally like lit a spark of this is exactly what I want to do. Um, and then, uh, from then on, I started performing at church, I think just to see um, how music inspires people mm -hmm. and it brings a, there is a form of intimacy, um, for sure during a performance and even afterwards, like people feel more connected with you. And I think, um, I think just learning that over time, uh, made me want to do that and hopefully inspire other girls, other women uh, to utilize their talents. And, and honestly, we all want intimacy, you know, in some shape or form. So just inspire that. Yeah. I think that and you, you mentioned what is going to lead into the next question, mm -hmm. which is where do you find yourself as far as your core audience? Like, who are they? Yeah, that would be it. Mm -hmm. as, um, right now, I think my core audience is about 18 to 30 but mm -hmm. I want to make it even younger um, to about 13 to 25 mm -hmm. uh, because it is um, because music is so powerful. Right. Um, and 13 to 25 is like the time when you're building your life. And I think to have um, great examples mm -hmm. are what we all need. I needed great examples around me. You know, uh, I'm grateful to have my mom and my sister as entertainers as well. Right. And so, um, Your so talented. they're so cute. <laughs> I'm very grateful for them. And, um, but yeah, that's, that's, oh, uh, that's my audience or that's my audience that I hope for. Mm -hmm. Um, that's what I'm aiming for. So I'm excited. So where do you normally gather your, um, influence for mm -hmm. your subject matter, mm -hmm. um, as you're writing? Is it something that, um, is personal experiences mm -hmm. or are you just kind of, flow with whatever's going with whatever's on. Going. Uh, it depends. So my first project was all about relationships. 
Um, I think growing up and seeing a certain kind of relationships, different relationships I've been in, um, just watching people. I'm a people watcher. I, I observe everything and I soak it in Mm -hmm. and, um, it helps me put stories together. And, um, but also like if I'm listening to a song or if I'm listening, even if I'm at the beach and I hear a sound and it reminds me of something or puts me in a certain vibe, I can, it feels like I'm catching things, you know, I'm, you know, I'm catching a nature vibe or I'm catching a, you know, a a relationship vibe or I'm catching, I don't know, a, a, whatever element, um, I'm around, uh, I guess it, it would be whatever is inspiring me at that moment. At that moment. Yeah. 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 So when, when you're looking at, um, the future of your work or whatever Mm -hmm. it may be, it's always a, a nice space to be able to look back to where you came from. Yeah. And, you know, just starting out on a journey of just being a creative entrepreneur is scary enough as it, as it yes. is on its own. But, mm-hmm. you know, what things have you been utilizing as ways of inspiration that you can share with our audience? Because, mm-hmm. you know, this is all about being able to share your own personal story, but mm-hmm. also um, supply the proper tools for people who want to follow behind you to do the same or even just follow suit. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, you mean like where I find my inspiration? Mm -hmm. I, well, I think I go through an internal process, uh, first, um, aside from being in a certain type of environment. Um, I am, I do, uh, a a very, uh, I guess for some people it would be an intense internal process. Mm -hmm. Um, I am a believer. I do go by the Bible. I am, um, a, a woman that actually stands on certain convictions. So, um, that's something that I, I do, um, carry with me everywhere. And so that's where a lot of my drive comes from, mm-hmm. um, is through dealing with myself. You know, I think that's something where, I don't know, as an artist, it's easy to get distracted by pretty things. For I love sure. pretty things. I'm wearing a shiny jacket. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love your jacket, by the way, yeah. but, um, <laughs> But yeah, I th- I think the the biggest thing for me is just dealing with with the things of my past, um, mm-hmm. actually putting things together to figure out who I am as a woman, and um, that's literally where the beginning of any concept comes from or anything that I really want to be a part of. Because then I equate it to: is this something that I want to be a part of? You know, right. um, is this something that matches me? Uh, as opposed to, I, I think it's tempting to go, this is what everybody's looking for. So I got to be that, you know, but, um, you can catch yourself in crazy traps that way, you know? So I think for myself, I won't come across authentic. No. And you'll be like everybody else. Um, which I mean, I know some people are in it for money or whatever, but, um, I am, you know, I'm grateful that I get to be transparent with myself because, it gives me an opportunity to be, to be transparent with other people yeah. and everybody has to be transparent. At mm-hmm. some point we all have to deal with who we are. So, so what are some yeah. of the misconceptions that you have, or that you had walking into just even stepping out and mm-hmm. feeling okay and comfortable with putting your creativity out there for the world to eat up so or bad. soak in or not soak in mm-hmm. or, you know, mm-hmm. um, so one of the misconceptions were that I definitely had to look a certain way. I had to have a certain, I had to say certain things that were on the top 100 list of what to say and what's cool and what goes viral and what, you know, the things that, um, that are on Pinterest and Instagram and the people that have the most followers. And I think that was the misconception was, um, I have to do what they're doing, mm-hmm. um, because that's the only way, you know, or I have to move a certain place because that's where all the work is, you know, or, um, I don't know. I had to sing a certain type of music. I got to go, you know, I have to sing what everybody else is singing about. Yeah. And it was, I feel like that's what everybody was saying, you know, too, or like you're, you gotta be this certain, you know, you have to be this age. You have to, you know, be at this location. You have to you have to wear these colors and this type of clothing. And this is what gets attention and things mm-hmm. like that. So that was intimidating. Um, I think it took me connecting with other women that I respected and 
I could literally look at myself and go, or I could look at them and go, I could see myself in them. That's if I became them, I would be happy with who I am, you know? And so, um, that helped me with those misconceptions. Okay. And so with, within that journey, Mm -hmm. what are some of the things that you learned? So many lessons. (laughs) (laughs) Okay. Top three. Okay. Top three. I, so just a quick story. I met with a good friend and, um, he's one of those musicians that I saw from when I was really young Mm -hmm. and he, uh, he played the bass and, or he played the guitar, sorry. And I just saw him be such an authentic artist and he would say side comments the more that he saw me perform. And, uh, one time we had, we grabbed coffee together and I was like, just please tell me what you see. Mm -hmm. Like, you know, at the time I wanted to be like a rapper and a singer. And I mean, those are things I, I, I do enjoy rapping. Um, I'm not like a freestyle rapper or anything. Um, funny enough, I'm actually a total fan of Ryan Nicole. Yeah. Um, so <laughs> when, I, when I heard she was a part of this project, I was super excited. Oh. But um, yeah, I, I was so, I had so many ideas, but they were so, uh, they were just everywhere. Mm-hmm. You know, when you don't know who you are and you're like, I want to do this, I want to do that, which is not bad. You're to finding one. yourself though. So yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So, but I think asking, asking advice was so huge and I didn't do that in the beginning. I wish I would have asked more. I wish I would have had the humility to ask for advice. I think I was intimidated or too proud or mm-hmm. felt insecure. Like people are going to think that I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah. yeah. You, know, you don't even need to be in this business, you know, whatever in my imagination at the time yeah. that, you know, I came up with, but I think just hearing him tell me what he saw mm-hmm. and, um, one of his challenges was to be authentic. And I kid you not, when he told me to be authentic, I was like, no, <laughs> I can't do it. why would I be authentic? That's crazy. I'll never become anybody. I'll never actually be an artist. And, you know, his point of view was with you not being authentic, there's not a connection. Mm-hmm. So people aren't, they're only able to get so close to you, you know, so you'll only be able to get so far because you're not transparent, right. you know? And I let that conversation, you know, and you just feel like, this is too hard. This is crazy, <laughs> you know? So, um, I did a lot of, uh, internal searching. I, I, you know, really got into, um, dealing with myself spiritually because I'm like, how am I going to be transparent if, or how am I going to be transparent with other people if I'm not being transparent with myself? Right. Um, but yeah, that was one of the lessons was to seek advice. Um, another one was to just have fun. It sounds so simple, but I think when you put cameras in front of you or you sit in front of somebody else and you're like, you know, like I need to act and, you know, look a certain way. Right. But I, it does take guts to just have fun, you know, just to be like, this is me and I'm silly and I'm a complete nerd. (laughs) Um, I'm very quirky. Um, I love to tell, tell and hear corny jokes, Mm -hmm. um, two liners and all that stuff. But, um, yeah, so. I so think. before we take a break, yeah. just tell me one thing that, so far in your career that has been the biggest moment for you mm. that made it all worth it. Made it all worth it. Let me think. I think just hearing, so I've been a mentor to teenagers. Mm-hmm. I think, I'm trying not to get all choked up. I think hearing them be a responsive to things like my social media, um, seeing me perform and them wanting to imitate, you know, it made me feel very responsible, you know, like, wow, this is the next generation yeah. and, and I want to take care of them, you know, and I, we all need mentors. We all need um, people to imitate. So I, I think that made it like a lifelong journey. Like I'll always, I'll always be an artist. Those are the people that people look at. Um, yeah, simple, but that's probably the biggest. Perfect. Yay. So we're going to take a break because we have to pay some bills. Okay. (laughs) And we'll be back. Thank you for supporting Fly Girls. We are mobilizing the stories of dope women around the world. Wouldn't you like the opportunity to introduce your brand to our listeners? 
Become a sponsor today. And together, we can share the power of creativity to empower the world. Welcome back to Fly Girls. I am the pilot as that ladybug, and I'm co-piloting it up today with Alexis Rose. Yay. So this segment is what I like to call getting your roll on. Oh, get it. So last segment, I kind of asked you some deep questions mm-hmm, and mm-hmm. kind of dove in a little bit, mm-hmm. messed around with your emotions. Mm-hmm. And now I'm going to share with you my therapy of what makes yarn movement so important to me. Awesome. Let's go. And we will be... Because orange is your favorite color. Uh, it is our favorite color. <laughs> so we are going to be making yarn balls. Okay. So the interesting part about making yarn balls is so magical because we have an opportunity to literally take everything that we're going through and okay. roll it in a ball of yarn. Nice. Oh, roll therapy. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> so you're going to find the beginning. Okay. I may need to help you with this. I'm yes, see. thank you. Um, because it... Yeah, that's definitely Where you it. put it? Um, let's see. Sorry. Let's just do that. Okay. 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 So you're going to take that loose end. Okay. And you are going to wrap it on your left hand. Okay. From this way, you're going to wrap it around like five times. One, two, three, four, and five. And then you're going to take it off. Okay. And you are going to wrap in the middle now. So make like a little bow tie. And you're going to wrap five oh. times there too. One, two, three, four, and five. Four, five. And now you're going to take the two like ends mm-hmm. of, the, of the bow and fold those in. Okay. And then now you're just going to wrap mm-hmm. around. And you're going to wrap around like um, over and over, but you're going to roll the little pieces. Oh. Getting your roll on. Get your roll on. Oh, yeah. Wait, hold on. Are you basically making it a ball? Yeah. Okay. Got it. Okay. And so while we're doing this, this is a perfect moment for us to talk about women. Aww. And let's talk about women in leadership. Okay. Nice. How do you feel about women in leadership? Well, <laughs> <laughs> how do I feel about women in leadership? Mm-hmm. Is it important? We can talk specifically if you like, or just generally speaking. You can talk and do this. This is incredible. (laughs) I respect you so much. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Swallows call magic. (laughs) Um, I do believe it's it's very important, actually. Um, I think without it, the world would would grow silent. Mm -hmm. Especially you mentioned... um, how important it is for you to be a leader mm-hmm. as a mentor mm-hmm. um and also just following up from the previous conversation you were saying when you were younger yeah you look towards individuals that you can kind of like latch on to and it's yeah. just like a, a cycle that i'm seeing for mm-hmm. you so yeah um i definitely see that as an importance for sure yeah and so understanding that um who was the flyest fly girl of them all for you past or present you mean like Hmm, it's a hard question. <laughs> Who's the fly fly girl? Uh-huh. Where well, are you garner your most inspiration from? I for sure I am like my mom's mirror child. Um I feel like she is the person that I've watched consistently. Mm-hmm. Um for everything. Um so I, I would say that she's like in terms of my closest person. Um I feel like uh, outside of that, there's so many people. They're so amazing. (laughs) Um, I think in terms of an entertainer, uh, I respect the most, I think an an all-around person. Um, Man, this is hard. (laughs) All-around person. Um, entertainer wise, I would have to say like, like a mix between like Tina Turner, um, probably like a Tina Turner or like Janet Jackson, like the J-Lo. Icons. Icons. People that actually roll with the times, Mm -hmm. you know, people that, um, have formed, they form 
what we want to imitate. You know, they make trends. They not even just make trends. They like, they add on to who we are. You right. Know? So. So speaking of being fly. Fly girl. Because I'm looking at this hair, this <laughs> lipstick. Let us in on your beauty reg. <laughs> Let us in. Hmm. Well, number one, my, I call on. Lakiri Dominique all the time. She's my cousin. I'm so blessed to have her as my family <laughs> member. And um, one, I, I uh, in terms of like my skin and everything, mm -hmm. I stick to all natural. I think it's important, especially as women of color, to be natural. And I'm not always like super glamored out, but I do feel like even if I don't have my makeup on, I do feel, I do feel myself, mm -hmm. you know, um, using things like coconut oil or lavender or, you know, um, actually taking in earth's best and, um, and using it for your, your best, your body, you know? Um, but yeah, I totally call on my, my cousin and I'm like, I need you to help me out, girl. <laughs> um, so she's the one that, that hooks up all the glamour and, um, yeah. And then, you know, I look at them, Pinterest boards and I think in my heart of hearts, if I could live in a room of glitter, I would. Well, I must <laughs> tell you, I made something for you so you can add into your glam. Did you? Regiment oh my gosh. Yesterday. And I would like to give it to you now. <gasps> really? Yeah. Stop the madness. Stop the madness. <laughs> It's not quite glitter, but I these think it's all awesome. the colors that you rock. Yes. These are all <laughs> Is this how you wear them? Do I put them on now? You can if you like. Can I? Sure. Okay, how do you put them on? Um, you would have to take your shoe off okay. and then you just slip them over your foot. Yes. This is so funny. I've been staring at yours. <laughs> slip them over my foot and I put them on like that. Yep. Whoop. Whoop. Ah! Thanks. <laughs> This makes my day. You know I'm about to rock these hard. Make sure you all the time yarn movement, and I'll yes. be very happy. And that's what the goal is to make sure you're rocking them. <laughs> these are awesome. Thank you. Oh, beautiful. Yay. So on that note, we do have to take one more break. Okay. Let's take and when break. we return, you'll be hearing a lovely selection from the most talented uh, Alexis Rose. Yay! So stay tuned. Don't go anywhere. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching my episode with Fly Girls. My name is Alexis Rose, and if you want to see more of me, make sure you check out my IG at Alexis Rose Music. Make sure you like, share, comment, leave a blah, 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 whatever you want. I hope to hear from you soon. Bye. I want to look at life and know that yesterday is done. With no regrets, with no regrets. Because so much challenges make me feel like the only one. They tell me lies Trapped inside my mind I get so tired of what I created Is there a new place for me? It's easy to run away, to hide away You know it It's easy to be afraid with no escape You know it, but I choose to be Thank you for supporting Fly Girls. We promote sustainable fashion designers and artisans around the globe. Would you like to increase your awareness and expand your reach? Addiction can help. Sign up for the supplier directory today. Embrace your dopeness.